Pro fans, the much anticipated NBA Finals is here with us. Game one is now in the books. My name is Sly Moya. Welcome to the Pro NBA show where we do all the analysis, the breakdown. We are here for the game one review. Teddy and KK have all, well, they've witnessed uh, some greatness from the Kola Jokic and Co. The Devon Nuggets grabbed game one with a 103 to 94 victory. Nikola Jokic at it again. The usual suspects have done their thing. Jamal Murray pouring in 26 points. Nikola Jokic with another triple double. Now, Kiki, we, we knew going into this game. Well, you said earlier that Aaron Gordon wasn't going to have much of an impact. But early on, exploiting mismatches, bullying his way through the defense, scoring a lot of points for the Never Nuggets early. All right. Charlie, you see my mood all changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, I was even thinking about how you guys going to cook me on this show today. And I have to render an unqualified apology to Aaron Gordon. So, Aaron, I'm sorry for doubting <laughs> you, Charlie. Big impact. Man, Joe Kitch did not score. Sorry, yeah, did, not, did not shoot. Goal, yeah. Attempt a field goal. For the first, first 10 quarter. minutes, yeah. The, first, the whole of the first quarter, he didn't attempt a field goal. And in the second quarter, actually, his first field goal was uh, a rebound. Yeah. And he took it and just laid it in all... all Aaron Gordon, man, he's an ex factor. Exploiting this much, just bullying his oh way. Oh my god, Max Trees couldn't handle him. Kelly Martin couldn't handle him. I'm Nobody sorry, could I'm really him. sorry, man. If you watch the game and you realize how Jokic, Jokic just was making the right reads and he was exploiting those guys, just feeding Murray. He said, mm -hmm. Okay, Murray, you've had enough, let's go to Gordon. He said, Gordon, you've had enough, let's give it to KCP. And everybody was rolling. It's just like a well oiled machine. And everybody, you could see that the heat's in their eyes, in their hearts and souls. You said, Charlie, we don't Charlie, have Charlie, we don't go fit. <laughs> we don't go fit. <laughs> Boy. Because even without crazy. scoring, he can still impact the game so greatly. Jokic, and, and you know, Shaq said, he said, he told Chuck, Shaq to Chuck, he said, Charlie, have you seen anybody like Jokic? <laughs> and then when they were talking, they invited Jokic into mm -hmm. the postseason, like yeah, the interview. Yeah, the and he said, they, added, they, they asked him, who did you, you know, pat your Mondo game your like game after. It was and like he said, he was like, like Shaq. And all of them were laughing like, and said, no, oh, Sha 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 Shaq, Shaq couldn't play like this. Shaq did not play like but, this. Now, tell like you, early on, we could even see Miami got some open looks. They weren't hitting their shots. Do you blame this on Miami not being able to hit shots or the Nuggets were just too good? So, first of all, um, Jokic is the best player in the world right now. And... Murray and Jokic are the best duo in the, in the NBA right now because they have so much in their bag. You don't know what they'll, they'll be doing. So Murray can dribble off um, Epic and Roll, move into the paint, and then pass it back to Jokic mm -hmm. for a three. He can be running with a defender on his tail, mm -hmm. and then uh, Jokic will screen his defender. His mid range is too solid. He, he's either he's passing or he's, 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 he's shooting a mid range. And maybe Jokic can even give um, a pocket pass when Murray is cutting. It's like they have so much. And I'm so sorry for this Miami team because they have tried. Mm -hmm. I, I can see they are really trying, but then nothing is working. But Butler no try. Because Butler didn't score. Oh, yeah. But, but Butler had scored, maybe it would have Butler been a, didn't score. a different conversation. And then we, I think the last time we were so hard on Bam. Bam. But this time Bam around, had an amazing game. Yeah. But um, he was giving pocket passes. Mm -hmm. He was shooting. He was shooting nicely. Yeah. But this then time around, there was uh, less pressure on the rim. He wasn't moving. To, I, I don't know if he was he was scared. But then I think he has to move more to the rim so he can get more fouls. More, get to the free throw line. They only had two free throws the whole yeah, game. Yeah, the whole game. And, and that's not Miami's game. Mm -hmm. Because Miami is more In fact, Jimmy, Jimmy also draws a lot of fouls. So I think Jimmy Jimmy was so undecisive with, with his shots like in the in the in the Celtic series. Mm -hmm. It's like he doesn't know if he should, he should pass the ball or he's he's making the so there's, there's so much he's, just Jimmy, just be decisive. Less of pump fakes, less hesses, just make it. Because his team his team needed needed him. And you can't put pressure on your on your role players like we said the, the last time. Jimmy has to show up but kudos to Bam for actually showing up. Well, game one at the Ball Arena in Denver was so, so interesting. We were looking at how teams were going to shape defensively. The last time we were here on the preview, we said Miami can't go into the zone. You know what was interesting? When Jokic went out and uh, Kodizela was in and then we saw um, um, Jeff Green also in for the Denver Nuggets. That was when Miami put, tried to play the zone but even Jeff Green was able to cook them. So you can see Eric Spostra, you have sleepless nights, like you said, because even the zone defense without Jokic on the floor still works for the Nuggets. But in as much as we saw that and we thought that the game wasn't that close, I saw some good actions. Now, you know, bam, that Duncan Robinson, that yeah. handoff, big yeah. pass, with the same as Jimmy Butler. I saw he could slip the screen and in the short rule, he was giving passes to other guys. So if you look at Bam, he had so many assists. So maybe if you are the coach, you do more of that action. And then I 
keenly i'm keen on jokic getting him into more pick and rolls and then making sure that he's active on the defense bam was shooting fade away and all that get into his body get some fouls mm. so that at least if he's in foul trouble and jokic is not playing then you have at least a dog chance of you know playing the miami mm. sorry playing Play the, the Denver Denver because if jokic is on the team and he's playing like he's doing there's no way they are going to beat them so i think for me get more fouls on jokic I don't I think put Lapp, him in foul trouble early. Put him in foul troubles. Let Bam attack him. Give Kevin Love some chance cuz the size, the size matter. They didn't want to move Bam off the body mm-hmm. of Jokic. Jokic. So you see all the rolls, all the screens yeah. that Jokic was setting, they were going over it or mm-hmm. under it, but they didn't want to switch it. Another another good defensive game from uh, Michael Porter Jr. Michael, very, very, very solid. Very good. But so if they are able to, you know, switch maybe the three or four or maybe from the five bam will switch and then someone else will bam will look like the lurking ad yeah. in the paint so that when jokic gets into the paint then he blocks it if he passes it then the shooters go around but you should get another big body cordizella didn't really play well so i think maybe the coach should give this guy a chance kevin, kevin love mm-hmm. like kevin love he's a veteran mm-hmm. and he doesn't miss so many and wide he's been in the nba finals, he's been in the NBA finals. he has all the experience and all that so they should give him a chance and then another big body on Jokic, so that bam can rest like in the pain when Jokic is about to shoot he tries to challenge it and that that thing i think is one of the things that they should adjust well to speaking of scoring another player who couldn't score for the miami Heat, caleb martin we're even comparing him to jimmy butler that should he get the eastern conference finals mvp but somebody tell me say the restore back to factory set <laughs> <laughs> what do you think oh but i think spostra should no put pressure on caleb martin because this is a big stage for him mm-hmm. this is his first time actually like playing in the, being, in being the starter. Finals, yeah. so i think he should he should take him back to the sub and then bring him in so he should bring in kevin love he should start kevin love kevin love should start this game and then he'll bring uh, Caleb Martin from the bench because this is a big stage not every not every player is able to survive this not every player is able to survive. you can be a very good player in the whole series in the whole pre- in the whole preseason in the whole regular season but when it comes to the champion when it comes to the the chip when we are supposed to win it it's it's too biggest a biggest stage for him so I think he should put the pressure you should take the pressure off of him and Struz Struz Train more and take and take time off <laughs> off social media trolling the Celtics because zero points zero point, that, that, that's that's and not that's, good that's very, that's very, very bad and, 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 and we knew and, and, Miami's pride was their role play actually too. should I add this guy Haywood Highsmith High 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 the guy really very, 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 very and for all you know he's a rookie on this big stage yeah. and Charlie he even out I think he, he got his opportunity when Game Vincent went went in the in the regular season he was very good but we didn't see him much in the playoffs and when Game Vincent went down with the injury Highsmith stepped up very well. I see well. lights at the end of the tunnel for the heat. Looking at how that guy played. So if Jimmy offsets what mm-hmm. um Jokic does in the game, then I think they have a good chance to compete. But even if you look at those guys, Gay Vincent was okay. Kelly Martin did not show up. Butler did not show up and it was still like 11 mm-hmm. point game. So if those guys are able to show up and the adjustments that we are talking about, Kevin Lark, Kevin Love comes into the game, puts more body on Jokic, make him work. And I think one thing that Chuck said, he said that Jokic in his you know itinerary as a player he is wired to give his his teammates wide open shots to make the right reads and to make the others beat you so if he is forced to make the shots so maybe you could go for 50 yeah, yeah. but we'll make sure that the others don't get 55 points so that you get 105. <laughs> yeah, that, see? that is the headache stopping jamal mario who from also scoring but i think it's the only way you are going so, to beat them. so 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 you think miami can maybe still one game in denver in Denver, I doubt. Uh, it's they not haven't possible. lost a game on their home court. It's not possible. They have not lost a game. And <laughs> they are eight and oh, If you quite remember, home. when they were doing the pre-game mm-hmm. analysis, they were wearing these masks. I think oxygen yeah, masks. Yeah, yeah. For the, so high altitude. The, the altitude. The altitude thing is, is real. Serious. It's really real. And I think Bala and Code, <laughs> Bala was already we'll tired. We'll have to adjust <laughs> very, very quickly. So that Bala was the was 2023 tired. NBA Finals Game 1 where Denver has grabbed the victory. Now, let's take you back a few years. For the last five years in the NBA Finals, we want to see which of the NBA Finals was the best. Because we see some interesting matchups in there. In 2018, we saw the Warriors versus Cavs, of course. The famous 3-1 comeback from LeBron James. Very, very interesting finals. In 2019, Raptors versus Warriors, where KD went down with the injury. Kawhi Leonard was able to grab the championship for the Toronto Raptors. In 2020, hmm, the controversial championship in the bubble for the Lakers. LeBron James grabbing his fourth ring in 2021. Bucks versus Suns. The most converted trophy for Giannis Antetokounmpo in his early career. After him, 
being denied a lot of times this time around he was able to beat the Suns in 2021 and then in 2022 warriors versus celtics finally stephen Curry was able to grab his finals mvp now taking all of these into account for yeah. 2023 we can exclude that because we haven't seen as many games as we want to We've only seen game one for the past five years. What do you think has been the best NBA finals? Um, I'll go for the Bucks and the Suns in the sense that that was, you could see at the combo in its elements mm -hmm. and then you could see a defensive team because they were really defending. Mm -hmm. And even the the last showdown where Juholi they stole the ball from, from Booker, Devin Booker and then the Chris Giannis Paul said. saga and it, yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, the love, the it love. Was, that was one of the best, one of the best finals I've ever seen in my life. I, what made it even more interesting was during that finals he was struggling from the free throw line and they kept following him in the last game and he was almost excellent from the free throw line because at the combo is not is not good is not good yeah, but, yeah, but, but in that, in that but game, in that game he was so good yeah. it was like everything was going so well for them and then they won four two that was that was so amazing yeah, they expect so you could talk last year warriors versus celtics or they no, no, you, no, so make, you make, make, make no kai man yeah. my heads are the heads <laughs> make so, no kai so, yeah, yeah, what, what do you think has been the best finals for the past five years for the past five years, I look at moments because mm -hmm. the finals, undoubtedly, LeBron's final against yes. the Curry. It, it outshines it's, it's almost crazy. every other final that we've seen for the past decade. But looking at the past five years, I look at moments. The honest thing you are talking about, after the 50 point game, you see when he went to order at the KFC, yeah, he yeah, said, yeah. Give me 50, <laughs> not 49, <laughs> not 51. So he 50, 50 double double. Like it, that was it. And Giannis, you know, put to rest the doubt yeah. Yeah, about so him. Much. So he became the best player in the league. Now Jokic is gunning yeah. for that title against Giannis. Now, looking at moment, let's mm -hmm. talk about the 2019 moment as well. Toronto yeah, Raptors. Now, let's, let's bring in Warriors. this kicker. You remember the last time Kawalena got injured, mm -hmm. what happened? His squat. Mm -hmm. There's this stupid guy. Sorry. I'll say stupid because he is. He deserves it. I'm not calling him stupid, but most NBA analysts call him stupid for his very terrible place. He's a dirty player, just like Dylan Brooks. <laughs> you remember him? Zaza Pachula. Zaza Pachula. Yeah, yeah. I can't even get his name correctly. He's called Zaza, Zaza Pachula. Pachula. Charlie, the guy intentionally, you see, and because of him, they brought that new rule where yeah, you have to allow a player yeah, to, land, yeah, to land. And when he got <laughs> injured, it was against the Spurs versus Warriors, yeah. and he got injured. And I think the basketball gods just made KD mm. also get injured. Yeah. Clay get for, injured. For, for, for so that Kawhi could get yeah. his. You see, so I talk about that moment. Now, Another moment is also the LeBron James 2018 mm. final. The comeback. I don't know. 2018 wasn't the comeback. The comeback was 2016. Mm. 2018 was a LeBron. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> was it the sweep? Was yeah, it the sweep? Yeah, sweep, yeah, the sweep, sweep yeah, yeah. You see, that was the sweep. When they were playing JR Smith, game one, LeBron mm. knew there was no way on it they were going to be them. Yeah. But the only thing they could do is just get one. One, yeah. Get one, LeBron. And LeBron had 56 or 57 points. JR Smith just passed the, the ball. ball. Sally. He was looking at him, he was like, man, yeah, and, 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 pass and, the ball. In that and, moment, you could see the pressure had gotten to him a bit. You, you know, you could look at his face and see the revolt, the, the how revolted and how repulsive he was. JR Smith, you've been a, a veteran. You should know this. So that, that was another moment. And then it break the whole internet mm. with the memes. That yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah, like yeah. Michael Jordan crying emoji. So that was another moment. Now, the last moment I'll talk about was Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. Against the Celtics. Against, against the Celtics. Now, people were doubting him. Mm -hmm. You cannot no win. Because because has no, no, no one doubted Steph Curry. No, because no, he had no, no, finals no. MVP. He has like won a finals MVP. Durant was the best player on the team. Durant was the best player on the team. He was, he was, he was, the, best player. The, team. He was the best. What, what, what? He was being carried. So, the guy literally cried. You could see, after game six, he was crying. And then his wife, his kids, his mom, sorry, his dad and his mom, they were all cheering him up. And it was like, man, that was another moment in the game. So putting all those things together, as a Laker fan and as a LeBron fan, man, I'll go with 2018, that LeBron. Has been a That was a So yeah, KK also has a speak. But you can just tell with the past five years that a lot has gone down. And we are hoping that in 2023, we'll see more of these moments. Maybe Jimmy Bala can do something great or Nikola Jokic can get his hands on the on, on his fair string. But that was the past five years in the NBA Finals. Now, finally, before we leave, we have to revisit your Boston Celtics because there's a big question now. The two days. Are we splitting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum? Jalen Brown is eligible for a max contract this year because he made the All-NBA second team. Now, Teddy, you being a Celtics fan, how do, how do you feel about people asking a lot of these questions? Because even Jason Tatum is backing Jalen Brown. What do you make of that? 
I think it's it's more it's more of Jalen Brown making the decision than they they splitting them because every time a trade comes up, he's always he's always, he's always, he's always mentioned, jobs, and yeah. then they are protecting other players. So I think it's so insulting to to to, his, Brown. to, to Brown to the kind of player he is. But, but, but what of the performance in the playoffs? The Tatum scored nine. But he was injured. No, he scored nine in the Philly series. What about that? What about that? He, he's our franchise player. He scored nine. No one is talking about By that. Game seven, this was just a moment. This was just one yeah, of those moments. So that you happened. feel like so you feel like people are just people are being too hard on him. People are being too hard on him. We should run it back. Get other closest, other role players who can help us to win the chip. Because Jalen Brown has proven himself. Look at that Jalen Brown coming off the years. Mm-hmm. He has really worked on himself. Because coming into this league, he was only known for his athleticism, mm-hmm. just dunking the ball. Now he's shooting the ball well. Now he, he has so much in his bag. So let's run it again. If next year it doesn't work out, we, we just split them. But for now, let's let's just keep him. Because who is in the market now? Who? It's, it's also difficult to find two yes. young wings who A are pair. defensively and then can, can, and, can and, and we are talking about chemistry well. here. Yeah. To build chemistry in the NBA, it takes time. It takes time. time. It, it takes time. time. We saw that with Look the at Suns. Harden. Look at Harden. Um, and uh, uh, Harden is washed, bro. Harden, <laughs> Harden, Kyrie, we'll Kyrie and KD. Look at these three. Mm-hmm. The, the chemistry wasn't there, yeah. and then they didn't fit. They didn't fit, and that, that's how they, they couldn't they couldn't win it. So it takes time to build chemistry. So now we have the chemistry. It's, be, it's been almost five years now. Let's just keep them for another run, and then let's see what happens. KK, if you are the Celtics GM, do you split the two Gs? It's a question that needs a whole lot of thinking to answer that. There are people who are just, they are saying it bogus. Don't even mm-hmm. think about trading mm-hmm. Jalen Brown. Brown. But I think you should look at it from the other side. Now, this team has been knocking on the door oh, for yeah. a very long time. Been to finals, conference, conference finals, finals, finals conference finals, finals, all the Within the past five years, I think they have been the ones who have been visiting a lot of so conference much. finals. A whole lot. And it, it, it didn't even start around that time. 2018 as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. They've the bond, of course. So, if you look at that, now, I'm going to talk about both sides. Mm-hmm. For trading Jalen Brown and then against, against trading Jalen Brown. Now, for trading Jalen Brown, this is what you are going to think if you are a GM. Now, do you, because there are two guards, sorry, there are two wing players. Yes. There are two, two wing players. Now, look at Jamal Murray and then Nikola Jokic. Jokic. Nikola Jokic. You see, there are so many two-man action that you yeah. can yeah. But you can't run that yeah. kind of two-man action with those wings. So many. J- Embiid and Harden. Yeah. If Harden was his prime, yeah. you could see a whole LeBron lot of run. LeBron and AD, a small and a big. Mm-hmm. Right? Steph Curry and then... Yeah. And Clay, Clay, and Green. And Green. Green. No, no, no. Oh, Steph Curry and then the Splash Brothers. This yeah. is yeah. an anomaly because yeah. of how, it's how they play. prolific mm-hmm. they shoot, right? So if you are looking at Jalen Brown and J- JT and then JB, mm-hmm. those Js... Jalen Brown is the kind of guy that if you are switching or you are running actions with them, it's just a normal switch with your wing players. Let's say you are guarding him, one is guarding the other guy, you switch, Mm -hmm. no action, it breaks up the action. So that in the NBA creates a lot of mismatches Mm -hmm. if you can get mismatches for both your guys. Mm -hmm. I remember Russ and KD. Look at how they were able to see. So you look at all those teams that have been very successful with that. It is either a small guy with a big guy. Or guys that don't have, you know, similar traits or yeah. similar attributes. So, in that, if you are this guy. The GM. The GM, the GM. What's his name? Okay, let's move on. I'll remember his name very soon. You are looking at trading Jalen Brown. Now, I wouldn't want him to get another superstar because there's none in the market right now. But you can go for pieces that will really help. People are saying Damien Lillard. I don't see Damien Lillard and JT working together. He's a closer. Is it really the closer now? But 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 I don't see them working together. Of past, if you look at re- recent history of the Celtics, it's either a small forward or a power forward or a big. You haven't seen guards, guards. as in point guards, do well at the Boston Celtics. No, that's not how they are. They are wide. So if you get pieces like just like the Denver Nuggets, what they've done, what they've done, they've gotten pieces around Jokic, which is making the team gel. So if you get that pieces around J two, Jason Tatum then maybe it will help. Mm-hmm. But that is a big risk you are taking. Now, in a short one, I'll, I'll take this one very short. Against that, mm-hmm. they, you don't break a, success, a, 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 a successful, successful team. Yeah, they had a successful Just, before they, they have, very, just very because they didn't, you, they didn't do well in one final, yeah. or sorry, one conference final, you are going to break the whole team up. Mm-hmm. And like you rightly said, it's very difficult to make a team gel. It mm-hmm. takes two, three years. years people said, oh, KD going to Suns, they are going to win it but all. But they already played eight games really, in the regular season. So. You see? It so it's not easy. So I would say keep them together. Maybe work around the Marcus Smart situation mm-hmm. and all that. They have a lot of money to pay those two guys. But after that, you need to 
work around. Maybe find a different guy, an energy, an energy bunny, uh, uh, bunny, bunny, energy bunny, and some something like that. Like work around the roster, but not those two guys. Don't hmm. touch them. So that, that is, is what a I very, say. very big, interesting questions. Let let us know in the comment section what you think about splitting the two days. What you think uh, the best NBA Finals has been in the past five years? Who do you think is winning Game Two, Miami or the Denver Nuggets? When we are back, we'll be reviewing Game Two. We'll see who wins and then gets the momentum for Game Two. As we'll be going to the Ball Arena in Denver for Game Two, Nikola Jokic might be on the verge of winning yet. Well, his first rank for Denver, for the Denver Nuggets, and Jamal Murray, who's looking to prove that he's one of the best guards in the world. Teddy and KK have done an amazing job of breaking this down. Stay with us. We'll be back with more of the NBA playoffs analysis. We are in the finals. We are almost there. The Denver Nuggets are three wins away from becoming champions of the world. Stick and stay with us. Subscribe to the channel. Keep us on post notifications. We are out.